do you know that you can automate writing some of your DVD codes? Yes, the code gen package is developed to help you with that. Let's see how we can use it. We will start by installing the package. So just copy this YAML snippet from here and add to our existing package YAML file in our project. Now we'll just run DVD. Yes, it's installed now. So this package has some macros defined in it and we will explore them one by one. Let's start with this one first. Generate source. So this macro generates YAML for your source configuration. We'll see how to use it. So there are two ways mainly to use any macro from this package. One is you can run it as run operation and pass the model parameters as arguments. And the second is you can run this code snippet or Jinja snippet in a SQL file. Now you can place that SQL file in your models folder, which is perfectly fine, or you can place it in analysis folder. But I will prefer pre placing it in an analysis folder because when I do RTBT run or RTBT build or RTBT test for that matter, it won't be picked up for running. If I place that file in models folder, then it will be picked up for running, which is not desirable. So we can just create any file, any SQL file with any name. Now we will try to generate source configurations for our sources that are present in our database. Now we'll first see what parameters are involved in this map. So we'll just copy this YAML snippet, Jinja snippet, and we'll paste it here. We'll just format it a bit. Yeah. So let's see what parameters are available for this metro. Schema name. Let's explore our Snowflake database first. So this DBT learning is our database in Snowflake that we will be using. And this is our raw database. This is where the source tables you know, are sitting. We have many source tables as you see here, but we will not need all of them for our demo pipeline. We will need just four of them. So what we will do is we'll set our macro up to generate YAML for those four sources. Now let's go back to our parameters for this macro. So schema name. Schema name is this. This is the schema. So we'll just copy that or we'll just write it up. It's Jaffel Shop draw. Just change it. Next, we will see database name. So database name is already there by default, which is the target database. That is part of our profile definition. So we will skip that and then table names. Now you can ignore these table names and it will generate the source CML for all of the tables available in our scheme. But we don't want that. We want the YAML for four of the tables. So we will use this parameter. Now let's go back to our parameters. Generate columns. We don't need to have column names in our source config. So we will skip that. Then we will go to the next one, include descriptions. Yes. So if the source has any description associated with it, we will just ca capture it. So I'm copying it. And I'll just set it to true. This is a Boolean one. Next, include data types. This is for the columns. Since we are not using the columns, we will just ignore that. Table pattern, we don't need it. We are providing a list of tables. Exclude again, it's for the same purpose. We are not using it. Name. Name is the name of the source that you are going to have in the YAML. Now you can choose to ignore it. And in that case, the schema name will be the name of your source. But we will override it to have our custom name. So we will have a name parameter. Okay. Next is include database. So do you want to include the name of the database in the source definition? Yes, we do and also the schema name. So we will have both. 
uh, we won't run it. We will actually compile the code for this SQL file, and that will give us the generated YAML in the terminal. Let's do that. All right, we got our YAML. And for some reason, maybe a bug, it is coming twice. So we will just have to copy one part of it. We can copy this part or we can get this part. Either is fine. So we will copy just one of them. And since this is a config for YAML sources, we will have it placed here. And since this is the definition of sources, it will be placed in the staging folder. Yep, so our sources are defined. We have four source tables that we need, and we have other things that we have mentioned in our Jinja macro as parameters. All right. The next thing is we could output this text or the generated YAML into a file as well directly. And for that, we need to follow this step. We just have to append this part that it gets generated into a file. We're not using it, we'll just do simple copy paste. So we'll be fine. Now we will move to the next macro, which is generate base model. So we have generated the YAML config for our sources. Now each source, will be converted into stage models. And those are sometimes called base models from dbt, project structure perspective. We will generate those base models using this macro. And again, to use this macro, we can just copy this and we will place that macro right here. And then we will change our parameter. All right, so source them. So the first parameter will have to be changed because our source name is a little bit different. Now, if we look at our generated YAML, we have four tables, raw items, raw orders, raw products, and raw supplies. So we will generate the base table definition for each of them. And we don't want to materialize them as tables because these are stage tables. So we want them as views materialization as view and let's run it yes so we have our sql generated again it is generated twice so i'll just copy the last part and i will place it in a file okay we have to do this for all of them all four so i'll just pause the recording and i'll come back all right so I have created all these state SQL files and I have used the SQL, SQL code generated by the macro, by this macro. Please make sure that you copy the SQL content from here from the terminal and paste it in the model file. We have created all our stage models that we need. Now we will move to the next macro. Now we have done this work by executing this macro multiple times once for each model now there is a better way to it you can just execute one or two commands and generate the sql code for all of the models and for that we have to use this macro now there is a condition that this macro cannot be executed in dbt cloud so all of the other things presented by this code gen package can be executed in dbt cloud but not this one because this one needs a terminal, because this one actually executes a shell script under the hood. And that's why we need the terminal. And we will see how it works. So let's go ahead and we will use this command. This time we cannot use the jinda directly. Copy it and we'll go to terminal. Now, remember, this is one of the ways you can execute all other macros as well. We know our source name is different. It's not my source. It's src underscore jetfill underscore job. And uh, we have four tables. Now, if I run this macro, it will give me the command to execute, which will generate 
all the models, all the state-based models. So this command, this is actually one single command having four actual commands in it. And they're separated by ampersand operator. So that means all of them will be executed in a single shot. If I do this, models will be created here, as you see, in the stage folder, and all of those will be here. Uh, yes, it's done. So this command has been executed successfully, and we have our stage models now. And you see it's the same. Anyways, so we will delete these files because we have already developed our own. Next, move to the next macro which is generate model yaml okay so we will see how this macro can be used we'll copy this code again and paste it here so this macro will actually generate model yaml for your smart models or intermediate models so if you have models defined this macro can generate the model config yaml for those models for this one, you need to have a list of models here that you have already present, and we can just use it. So we don't have a customer's model. We will have this model. So we have four models in the Mars folder. One is an actual model and three are dummy just for this demo. So I will just copy the names for them and paste it there. All right, now it's the same drill. We'll just compile this code and it will give us the model YAML file. Now, there is one caveat to use this macro. That is, to generate the YAML successfully and correctly, your models should be present in the database schema as tables because this macro actually extracts the information from information schema in your database and if the tables are not there there is no information to be extracted so those models are actually in the table schema because we are past our staging for staging we had our models or tables in the chapel shop raw schema now we are in the table schema because we are in marts so all of the models are being built in here we click on this and if we look at the tables, we don't have all the tables. If you see, we have mark two, mark three order items from our list. So we don't have mark one, and that is why you don't see the columns for mark one. But for mark three, you see the columns here is numeric three, string three, these are the columns for mark three. For mark two as well, you see the columns, and for the order items as well, you see the columns. But not for Mart 1. So what we will have to do is, we'll have to build our Mart models first. And for that, we need to build our staging models also. So I'll just hit the build command or dbt run command. Okay, our order items model has failed because it has nothing to execute. So no worries, we will activate it when we are at that point. Anyways, our main purpose should be solved here. Our Mark 1 model is present now in the database. We can run this command again to get generated YAML file for model config. All right, this time we have model config or column config for all of them. See, for Mark 1 as well. I'll just copy this YAML and paste it in the mods folder. See, we don't have to write all this code manually. It is automatically written, which is awesome. Okay, now coming back to our documentation page, you see there is another option to actually extract the model names from directory with prefix or by prefix rather. So I could have said, extract all the models from the Mars folder and generate the YAML config for all of them. But unfortunately, there is a bug and 
due to that bug, this one does not work. Only this method does not work. This get models. So we won't be demonstrating that. And let's move on to the next one. Generate model import CTEs. All right. Let's look at our order items model first. So I activate the code. And you see, we have defined this model, but it does not conform to DBT standard project structure. And DBT standard project structure says that you cannot have these references, these references to upstream models within a front clause. So you have to have this exported into CTEs here up top. So these reference models will be imported as CTEs here, and then the name of the CTEs will be used in the from clause. So that is the standard, but our model is not written as that. So code gen package has a fix for that. There is this micro available generate model import CTEs, and we will use that macro to fix our model. Let's use that. So we have this code snippet, and I will just use it to fix our model. Right now, if I run the same command, oh, I think we missed one model here. So let's fix that. We will go back to our first macro, or rather, second macro to generate the SQL for our items. Our source name is SRC will shop. Table name is draw items and materialization as view since this is a stage table. So our SQL for the items source has been generated and we can just place it here. So we will go back to our last macro to fix our dbt standard issue. Copy this. Paste the code here and change the name of the model to order. Right, because that is the model we have. So I run the code again. Okay, so our code has been generated and we will copy this and paste in our order. Model. So, as you see, all the upstream references from the from clauses have been moved up here into CTAs. Now we can see how much it can help us with writing code. It wrote all these SQL codes here for the base models. It generated the sources YAML file, it can generate the model configurations like this, including the name of the columns for each of those models. It can fix code to conform to dbt standard so it can do a lot of things last but not the least we will run all of our models the whole pipeline just to see if it is successful or not yes so this package turns out to be extremely helpful 